Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing all of my favorite tools as a graphic designer. So these are the things that I use to really speed up my workflow as a graphic designer, to give me inspiration, and just make my life a whole lot easier, as well as the back end of my business as well. So managing things like contracts and invoices, as well as everything tax related. So I'm gonna share everything that I use as a whole for my graphic design business, and hopefully you find this helpful. Before I get into the video, if you're new here, my name is Shah. I am a branding and web designer based in the UK. And if you enjoy this type of content, then don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up below. So without further ado, let's jump in to the tools. So I'm gonna start this video off with some of my favorite things. So these are actually Chrome plugins. One of them is called CSS Peeper. And basically, if you go onto any website, if you have this plugin installed, you can basically see all of the elements of this website. So you can see the fonts that they use, you can see the color palettes they use, you can even copy and paste the color palettes, as well as all of the images and the logos um, that they use. So it's all in one easy to access place. But basically it's just so handy if you really like the look and feel of a particular website and you don't know what font they're using or you don't know exactly how to extract that specific color, it just makes it so easy and handy for you to do. This is probably one of my most used tools and definitely by far my most favorite. So definitely check this one out. You can get it through Google Chrome if you have that installed. It's very, very simple and easy to use. So the next one is similar. It's called What Font. So basically if there's any type of font that you see on a website that you really, really like, and you have no idea how to get it. I have spent way too long trying to find similar fonts to something I found online. And there's like certain sites that you can screenshot um, the text and put it in, but for some reason they never really work properly for me and they don't give me the specific font that I'm looking for. So this tool gives you the exact font that they're using. All you have to do is turn on the plugin, make sure it's clicked, and then you hover over any text on the website and it will come up with exactly what font they're using. It's a very useful tool, saves me so much time, and I know that you will really love it too. So the next plugin that I wanna talk about is a very simple one. And basically what it does is when you press it, it takes a screenshot of the entire website. So it's really handy if you want to display a website that you've created um, and a full page version of it. Uh, it just makes the process so much easier. I know that you can do it on the iPhone, but I wasn't sure how to do it on a laptop. So this just makes it so much easier for me and it's actually very handy. I do end up using it quite a fair bit. So that is just another one to take note of if you do websites or if your workflow kind of involves taking full page screenshot. So the next group of tools is basically where I go to find inspo. And obviously there's the obvious ones, which are Pinterest and Behance, which I don't wanna go into too much because I know everyone uses those and I do still use those, but there are a few that I found that are super high quality. And every time I go on them, I get really inspired and it's just really beautiful branding, beautiful imagery. So I wanted to share some of those with you. The first website is called Save It. It's got so many high quality brands, high quality visuals. It's very modern and it's very up to date with the design trends that are going on at the moment. So I really, really love the site. Sometimes on Pinterest, it is a bit of a hit and miss just because there's so many like outdated designs still on there and it's hard to navigate through everything. So this site is really, really top notch and I definitely recommend it. Another one is called cpgd.xyz. So this stands for Consumer Packaged Goods Directory and basically has a different array of like products. And I particularly like this one for the website. So if you click on any of the categories, there is pet, CBD, kids, home, beverage, body, food, health, just to name a few, but you can find a whole lot more. And if you click on any of these, you can go on to the brand and then you can visit the website. And most of these websites are very beautiful and very well designed. So if you're looking for really good web design inspo, then definitely look on this kind of place, especially if you have a specific client in a specific industry and you wanna find similar um, industries to look for for inspo, this is perfect to find that. So definitely check out this website. I will leave everything in the description as well so it's easier for you to access. Anyway, the next tool that I wanted to talk about is basically a 
resource hub and it is called omglord.com and basically if you want to learn anything about product design or web design it's got everything there it's obviously got so much more than that but it's got everything there so like if you wanted to learn illustration or if you wanted to learn web design you just click on the side of the website and it will come up with all of these resources and tools. So if you wanted to learn about it, there's like courses there, there's things that will help you um, with your web design workflow and things like that. So it's just a very good resource hub and it's got everything that you need. The next tool I want to mention or more rather a website is for stock imagery. So as a graphic designer and a web designer, I use a lot of stock imagery and you wanna be careful if you're just finding stuff on Pinterest it may be copyrighted, so if you use it on your Instagram, if you use it for any client work or on your website, you could get in a lot of trouble for that. So it's better and more recommended to use royalty-free content um, and free stock imagery. So there are two websites um, that I know of, and one is called Unsplash, and the other one is called Pexels. Um, I particularly use Pexels a lot because I just find that it's got a greater range of photos and it also has a huge video library as well. So if I'm trying to display my work in a more like creative visual way, I like to use videos from Pexels and layer it behind my logos or my work just to get a better feel of what I was going for with that particular project. So I love, love, love Paxels. Um, I definitely recommend it. Have a look at the video sections and the photo section. So the last section I wanted to touch on is the business side of things. And I think this is really overlooked as graphic designers. You know, graphic designers are very creative people and the forefront of their minds goes to the creative stuff um, and actual designing of things. Whereas the business part is actually just as important because you need to know how to manage your finances, how to manage your contracts, um, how to be safe and make sure you're getting paid as well as how to deal with your taxes because you are running a business at the end of the day. So the platforms and tools that I like to use, I have two written down. I know there are so many, but these are the ones that I have used for years and I really, really love. So the first one is a CRM tool, which is a client relationship management tool, and it is called Dubsado. I'm sure you have probably heard of this one, but basically it keeps all of my contracts in one place. It allows me to manage all of my clients properly and it allows you to create payment plans as well for invoices, which is so handy. And I think if I'm not wrong, they have just launched a payment option where money is automatically deducted from the person's account or your client's account uh, when the payment is due every month, which is so handy. It means you don't have to constantly remind them. And before that, you would just have to send emails, which was a bit annoying, but now they've got that feature, I think they've really stepped up a level. So I definitely recommend Dubsado. It takes a little bit of getting used to to set everything up and get it to look the way you want it to look. And if you need any videos on how I set up my Dubsado platform and how I set up the workflow on that, then I can make a video on that, that's fine just let me know. I definitely recommend a CRM tool just to organize your contracts, make sure things are getting signed, make sure you're getting paid and to keep it all in one place. So at the end of the year, when you're doing your taxes, you know exactly how much you've earned and what's coming from where. So definitely, definitely have some kind of um, tool where you can track all of that in one place. The next tool I want to talk about is actually an app and it is called One Tap Receipts. So basically whenever you spend money on your business you can keep note of it in this app so that when you file for taxes you have all of your expenses in one place and you know how much to deduct from your annual income. I would say 99% of my invoices come through my email because I order things online like everybody else does. Um, and what you can do is when that those invoices come through, you can forward them to your OneTap email. Everyone gets a, an email generated by OneTap receipts and basically they scan your email. They put in exactly how much you spent, what the payment was for, and they keep that on track for you so that you can easily scroll through the things that you've spent, you know exactly what you spent your money on. So when you file taxes, it's all done in there and it keeps a hold of you. So if one day the tax man comes for you and asks, where's your record of the expenses that you did in 
the specific year, you've got all of your records in this app. So it's very handy to have. I used to do this all manually. So I used to use like my notes app or a notion or like a little notebook and it would get so messy so quickly. I would be so confused by the end of the year on why spent. So having an app like this just makes my life so much easier when it comes to doing taxes. I'm in the UK. I don't know if it's a universal app. I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, try and search. It's just number one, one tap receipts. I will link it below as well. So that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope I spoke about some tools that you have never heard of before and you can implement these into your workflow to make it faster um, and to make you more inspired as a creative. And if you have any other tools that you would really recommend as a graphic designer or a creative, definitely leave them down below. I'm always trying to find things that will benefit me as a graphic designer. So I would really like to hear what tools that you guys use. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video.